All right, guys, uh, this is a video to show you guys how the um, XGuard RPM sensor it is used in the case of a gasser, a Zeno based uh, gasser, or um, I forgot what the name of the other one, TMI or something like that. So, anyway, so this is um, the uh, mount that's available from gas helicopters and uh, there is a mount uh normally this one has a um spacer here right an aluminum spacer that moves this down the problem with the moving it down is as you can see on this picture this is the area of the um uh, magnet and the sensor as you can see in this uh, picture the sensor is uh, uh, below that area so obviously it captures some of the magnetic field, but not fully. So what you have to do is bring it up into the magnet. So it goes into the magnet like it's shown here. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. See how now this is the magnet area, as you can see here, right? Um, the magnet area is here. And now the sensor is actually inside the magnet area. Uh, here here's the magnet and here's the sensor now it's on top of the magnet area it's like this shiny area here that's what the magnet is at and by doing that uh, you will see that immediately we get uh, uh, perfect readings you know on the um, so I'm going uh, I attached a, a drill so we can go a hundred or something like that so Now it has a good uh, signal, and uh, that is all you need to do. You know, move it like that. Now there is another version that will be coming out, and that version, let me see where I have it. That version here, this is a new version that is specifically made for the uh, gassers. That will go actually like this, right? As you can see, the vent, the sensor is backwards. It's uh, it's not the backwards actually. It's in the other side. You know, it's on the top. So when you have it with the spacers, then it's going to be exactly where it's supposed to be. So this sensor is going to be uh, um, released uh, this uh, coming week. And it's going to be available only on the XCAR store and for 90 days exclusively on the gas helicopters store. Because uh, he sent me this uh, engine here and to investigate the issue and because of that he gets a 90 day um, exclusivity for the uh, sensors and uh, so he's going to carry that. Uh, there's another version, an additional one that will be compatible with the Futaba ones and that one um, will come out uh, in three weeks. The, the one that is compatible with the Futaba uh, GV1 so that you can use this. So now you get the benefits of the uh, filtered and buffered uh, sensor that has the ESC, EM, um, uh, I'm not ESC, you know, um, electronic discharge protection and uh, buffer, uh, power buffer. So this will give your NEO or in the case of the um, Futaba, your GV, GY, uh, a very clean pulse, you know, noise free and, and uh, without any artifacts. So this one here, if you have a regular one, a regular sensor, the trick to make it work is don't forget there is a, the, the spacers here, just the, take them off and make sure that this plate is next to this one. And if you want to make this actually even in the middle, maybe you can add in between the two plates, uh, let's say um, a plain knot, okay? And that will give you additional space to bring this more into the, the magnet. But right now, the way it is, you know, plainly use that like that is, is fully on the magnet. So it works perfectly well. So I'm going to do that again. So look at the screen on the, on the, on the touch. As you can see, there is um, the the, uh, the the signal works perfectly fine. So that's it.
the, the new version, the, the one that actually works with the original uh, plate, the original, the original mount, is going to be up on the website on Monday. Okay, because we already have uh, that working, and um, and that's it. So good. Hope you guys uh, like it, and see you guys later.